What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and this time I'm doing something different Now this is a question many of my viewers have brought up. I mean brought, brought up. Okay, anyways So bear with me. This is gonna be the most horrendous tutorial ever, but I'm making it for you guys So you better subscribe if the video is good If you think it's good if you think it's bad feel free to leave a dislike anyways Okay, to start things off I make a line usually about this big center that and I bring the pivot point all the way to here let's rename it to wing segment one uh, where is our pivot then I wait, no, prefer that Okay, I duplicate it, but this time I uh, make it very thin. Now this is gonna be the webbing of the wing. Think of this as the stem and this as the web segment to it. Okay, then I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna move it all the way up here-ish. And make sure my pivot and I get my pivot I mean my folder is somewhere in between here so when we twist okay that looks a bit weird you can see but when we twist it looks something like that so make sure you get your pivot right and yeah let me just make it a bit bigger so it looks less goofy okay what's step two step two okay now you could do it like this which is what I used to do I put a plane like that and extend the boxes but I'm gonna show you a different method one that's way better okay so I'm gonna bring my folder up to here I'm gonna rotate it just a wee bit I'm gonna extend it like I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna bring the webbing back. Okay, so to make it. Okay, so then you duplicate this most option, and then we're gonna do the webbing again. As such. If you missed a step, go skip back, okay? But I'm gonna do this. Make it very long. Much, much longer. Like that. Then. So, um, don't follow what I just did then. Now this is much better, much, much better. The more the stems go towards the body of the dragon, I shorten them. Just to get an illusion of width and size as you will. And if you want, really want, you could decorate them by putting spikes at the end of the tips, but I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy and because it's my first tutorial. So, you know. Now, time for part two of this amazing tutorial. The painting part, my most favorite part. Now you wanna go on paint bucket, click element and click erase mode. This is very crucial. Let's say we were doing a nature dragon. Not nature, it would, uh... Okay, a magical purple dragon. I'm gonna fill those in. I'm gonna enable the painting grid. I'm gonna go brush and make it a circle, cause you know. Wait, you actually don't know. Let me explain. I'm gonna do a brush because if I just did a square, it would look goofy, and we want it to look coolio. So yeah, you know. I'm just gonna slowly fill them in. 
Now, if you mess up, don't worry. There's an eraser tool for a reason. Yeah, let me just paint this. Oh, and if you increase the softness, it makes this cool blending effect, which is good to know. Yeah, but just essentially just fill in the gaps. Okay, a few of you right now might be screaming, BJ, why are you covering up the stems? Well, it's an easy fix, and it just makes for a quicker, you know, thingy majinky. Okay. Now we have our wing. But, and this is a big but. Usually this isn't, as you can see, some textures are colliding. Usually that doesn't bother me too much, but if it does for you, I saw a quick fix on the Bedrock Wiki Dev thingy. Basically, just do just like inflate it by such a small margin. But I don't know if it works. Let's try that out anyway. What? That fixed it? Guys, this is live footage of me figuring out how to fix that. I actually didn't know to like. 30 seconds ago. Wow, I'm learning as well. But yeah, let me just give these wings a bit more texture to them. Part 3 now. This is animating. Hopefully this goes as planned. If it doesn't, I'm going to cut this out of the video. Okay, so... I'm going to go for a basic. Now this... This part isn't actually a tutorial, it's just a showcase of how you could so slow it down if you actually want to learn how to do it. I'm not going to be going through it in much detail, just glossing over it, as I usually do. Look at that! That was so simple! All I basically did was for every keyframe I moved it ever so slightly and when it returns it goes back to the first keyframe, eh? Okay. Now, let's try spreading his wings out. Okay, can you even notice that? What? I'm not sure if you can notice that, but these guys actually moved, in fact, quite a bit. Let's try curling them up. Let's say this was for an idle animation. Okay, as you can now, you can see, I hope. But yeah, they're moving in. So that's just basically it. Yeah, that's the tutorial. As you can see, it's a bit goofy. So you might want to play around with the webs and stuff to make if you want your animations to be a lot better. But yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a like. This was not scripted by any means. I want really honest feedback, to be honest. And yeah, don't forget, dragons are cool.